we've just finished installing a Hydrocore 5000 drill head. We redesigned only two pieces on our head and now it bolts on without any modification to the EF50 at all. The reason that we've done that is our customer, they were having trouble with the original EF50 head. It, the trouble is, there's, it, it's way, way more complicated than our head. And that complication doesn't give it any real advantage as far as the performance, the, the torque or the speeds available. All it does is uh, make it so it breaks down more often. For example, the gearbox, it uses this funk four-speed gearbox and a lot of, it's very common on a lot of drills. The trouble is, um, there's certain parts on that head that wear out and they break because of the vibration of drilling and things like that. My design philosophy is to keep things simple, but there is always a reason for everything. One of the differences with our head is that it's so simple. The head we've got, it comes apart pretty easily for maintenance. It is possible to rebuild it on a drill site in the middle of the jungle. And I know that because I've done that myself. All you need is a block of wood and a hammer. Our drill doesn't have a gearbox, so that problem completely eliminated forever. Instead of having a gearbox, we just put a larger variable displacement motor on, and that way you can get the full effect of the gearbox. And you can change gears while you're drilling just by turning a knob. This thing is made of polyurethane. It's in, reinforced with carbon fiber, so it's half the price of a chain, and it'll probably last twice as long as a chain. And the rating at the speed we use it at is over 500 horsepower. And so you'll have very little trouble with this thing. It's very easy to replace. It's about a 20 minute job to put a new one in if it does break. But some of our customers can't remember ever having to replace it at all. You just have to grease the two grease nipples uh, every shift and you'll have no trouble. Imagine that, just one less thing to worry about.